Hi, Brad from WordPressSites.net. I've been asked quite a few times about uh, WordPress media, how to use images in WordPress, delete images, edit images, and all that sort of stuff. So I thought I'd make a video and uh, just show it. A few of my clients are hitting me with a lot of questions. So uh, I'll, there'll be some information in my forum as well. I've just started a forum, which is the second tab from the right on my site. So. Uh, you may you may wish to have a look in there. It's it's brand new. I'm still putting it together. I'm putting some configurations, and I've got the general uh, the general tabs here, which is all all WordPress related. So I hope to put everything in there that that'll that'll fully cover WordPress. So, uh, but he's he's uh, he's he's, the, he's how to um, delete images and alter images. I'll show you that now. Just go to your WordPress dashboard. Here we are here in the WordPress dashboard. I've just got my site stats up here, but just under the media tab here, you've got uh, your media library and add new. So whenever you want to add a new image, you just click on add new and you just upload it wherever it is on your computer, whether it's on your desktop or in documents or wherever. So that that's really straightforward. If you want to make changes to images that have already been uploaded, just click on library and you'll just see them all there. I've got about 145 in this media library, uh, which isn't a lot. I thought I had a lot more than that. Um, and here they all are here and uh, you can edit them just by clicking this edit button here you can delete them permanently there if they're embedded in any of your posts or pages you don't want to delete them otherwise you're gonna you're gonna make your site look pretty ugly so uh, uh, you can view them just 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 click on view and it'll, it'll show you what the image looks like so here we go this is just a banner that I've made up for my new affiliate program so uh, I'll be offering affiliate services. So that's that's all there is to it. Our images are really really simple um, to, to to play around with, and uh, just to edit them, we'll just click. You can click here on edit or on the name of the image, and you've got all the information here. It tells you the size, the file type, whether it's JPEG, PNG, what whatever, the dimensions, all that sort of stuff, uh, the date you uploaded it. Now here's the link to the image, so you can place this link wherever you like, you know, it doesn't have to be on your site, you can place it anywhere on the internet, and uh, and this will just link back to that image, so uh, so this is what you need if you want to, uh, if you want to um, get the image uh, somewhere else, so it, it'll remain hosted on your server, but you can place the image anywhere else on the internet. So just to edit the image, uh, you just click on edit and you just make the changes that you need to make. It's it's, it's really straightforward. Uh, if you're wanting to add a, a caption here, you can just add a caption and what that will do is add a caption to the bottom of your image. So here's all the different, uh, all the different options you got with your image. There's lots of different things you can do here. It, it's uh, you can change the size, the aspect ratio. Uh, now down here, just to add a caption, you might just want to type something in here. You might want WordPress professional support services, whatever you want to put in, and that'll just add a caption to the end of your image. I, I don't do that very often, um, but it, but it's not a bad idea, and you can add a description as well. So. Uh, always make sure you add some alt text which is alternate text because this is what the search engines read they cannot see the images but they can read the alt text so and make sure it's a keywords uh, long tail or, or multiple word keywords or key phrases that are that is related to the uh, the content for that particular blog post or page so uh, so that's all you have to do basically and if it's an existing image that's already on, embedded somewhere on your site you can make those changes and, uh, and click on update media and that'll make the changes to the media so if you wanted to delete a whole range of uh, images you can just highlight it on the left there and just delete them permanently but make sure you know what you're doing before you do that so uh, if you need any more information on WordPress, come to the new WordPress forum. I'm calling it the W forum, so which is going to be pretty simple, but I'm covering everything related to WordPress. And uh, you'll find it at my site, wordpresssites.net uh, forward slash WordPress forum. Cheers.